In 1941, residents of the Kovna ghetto served as forced laborers, aiding the Nazi military. Rabbi Ephraim Ashri was assigned the relatively easy task of removing lice from the soldiers' clothes. It got at the Feres Bachirim. Was mit jedem Tag gelernt, alle Tag hat man gelernt mit Bachirim. Und mit dieser Fleißigkeit, und mit dieser Brenn, muss man Faupel gewinnen lernen. Der Buch der Zeit ist es gewesen, zusammen in den Kopf der Gärten mit Mataten. Wir wurden gefragt, wo soll man den Buch im Getracht sein? Wenn er sah, Eis zu suchen, wo soll man sogar den Kopf zu lernen? Um sie geimpft, das war so ein Gewiss, dass sie gar nicht morgen weg von der Welt. Um sie gewiss, dass sie haben nicht mehr wie das auf der Welt noch teurer. Um sie so gelähmt, dass sie ein Fleisch geimpft, dass sie keinen Wunsch geben, dass sie ein Simchen, dass sie ein Israel geimpft. In 1943, Rabbi Shapiro, the Rabbi of Kovna, passed away. Bereft of leadership, the people turned to Ashri with their pressing questions regarding Jewish law. He later wrote, The inquiries to which I responded were neither academic questions posed by scholars, nor scenarios proposed by eccentrics playing theoretical games. They were questions asked by ordinary Jews who refused to be turned into instinctive animals in search of bare survival. These Jews tenaciously upheld their obligation under the divine covenant to observe to the best of their ability, even in the ghetto, the commandments of God's Torah, the divine blueprint of true human civilization. Ashri jotted down notes regarding the questions and answers and hid them in the ground after the war, he dug them up and elaborated on the sources. These questions were the basis of his five-volume series of responsa about the Holocaust. He later wrote, I dug up my notes and proceeded to examine the sources at greater length. Only then did I begin to perceive the significance of the questions as an indelible record of Jewish uniqueness. Did our enemies ask their priests and ministers how to care for the Jewish dead? Were they concerned about whether one may use clothes stolen from a dead Jew? Did they receive dispensation to bayonet pregnant women? In contrast, I was asked detailed, astonishingly moving questions. Jews asked, what were the proper blessings to say after eating? when one was forced to eat on a fast day. They asked me the correct form of a blessing one would say before going to one's death in sanctification of God. What do you say to a Jew who is a Jew unto his death? It is so elementary that tears are not sufficient. <laughs> 